Anyone wanna buy my Chinese GPU? Anyone? <coughs> Anyone at all? <coughs> no? Sure? Well, let's find out if these Chinese GPUs are any good. And I'm gonna be running this test with my Boomstar Galax GPU. Now this GPU has 10 gigabytes of DDR6 VRAM, uh, running at a base clock of 1440 megahertz and a boost clock of 1770. Um, and memory clock is 2375. So I'm gonna be comparing this GPU against a GPU that is exactly the same as this and seeing what the difference is in terms of benchmark performance. So the specifications of this GPU is exactly the same as the Galax Boomstar. Base clock is 1440, boost clock is 1800, and also memory clock is 1188. Now the Gigabyte GPU has a higher boost clock. However, the memory clock on the Gigabyte is lower than the Boomstar, where the Boomstar memory clock goes in at 2375 and the gigabyte GPU is 1188 megahertz. So let's do some benchmark tests and see how they perform. So first up, I'm just gonna use Fermark. Um, I'm not gonna do a huge amount of benchmarking here, but you can see this is running uh, 144, 145 FPS at 1080p. At 1440p, we have 116 FPS, 117 FPS. So very, very close together and well within margin of error between the two GPUs. And finally, at 4K, we have 71 FPS and 71 FPS, exactly the same. So you could say in all benchmarks, all the, the both GPUs are the same. Now, I decided to have a look at some of the temps between the two GPUs. And you can see actually the Galax is cooler by quite a significant margin of 59 and hotspot on the Gigabyte GPU is quite significantly higher, 103 degrees. That's atrocious. Um, but, you know, your mileage may vary depending on what GPU you have and how it's been put together. Now, running 3D Mark, um, both of the benchmarks ran really well. No stutters and pretty much almost exactly the same. And when we have a look at the scores for both, uh, you can see the Galax GPU has scored slightly higher than the Gigabyte GPU at 4,617. Now, when we move on to another benchmark, which is, I think, is a more recent benchmark that 3 Mark has released. Again, both GPUs performed very well and almost the same. However, they test and stress the GPUs in different ways compared to the previous benchmark, which was mainly looking at ray tracing. Now, on this score, you can see actually the Gigabyte takes the lead slightly at 4,378, but the difference again is not huge between the two. Now, when we look at the GPU dies, you can see the dies are in fact exactly the same. So no difference there whatsoever. Look at the memory modules and we can see actually both of them on the same part number, D8BWW. Uh, the numbers at the top, I believe, are serial numbers or when they were manufactured. So the memory modules are exactly the same for DDR6. Now looking at the power delivery, this is where we start seeing some differences between the two. And actually, I'm not an expert on power delivery on GPUs, um, but I do think the Gigabyte power delivery system looks better than the Galax system. And, you know, your mileage may vary on the reliability. And looking at the heatsink, you can see actually the Gigabyte uses a copper plate and the Galax uses an aluminium plate. Although the surface finish on the Galax is better, but of course, copper is better for heat dissipation. Now, looking at the cooler, you can see actually there is six um, heat pipes on the Galax and a very similar number on the Gigabyte. And of course, the heat pipes on the Gigabyte are all aluminium. In terms of actual cooler size, 
I would say the Galax is bigger um, than the Gigabyte, but again, you know, it's subjective. But you can see on the uh, tests that we performed, actually the Galax was quite a bit cooler. However, you can see the heat the heat pads on there on the Gigabyte were slightly worn down. So just having a look at both of these GPUs assembled, you can see actually the Galax, I think is slightly bigger than a Gigabyte card. Uh, you have one HDMI and three display ports. And overall, I have to say that I think I'm pleasantly surprised by the performance of the Chinese GPU. There's not a huge amount of difference between the two. And to be honest, if you wanna save a little bit of money moving forwards, then maybe you could pick up a Galax um, get it shipped over if you can get it at a good price and you know you'll have a good GPU on your hands so if this video is useful for you just let me know down in the comments if you could have covered this in more detail let me know and thanks for watching